lot of it is de also driftwood. I'm seeing a lot of driftwood floating out there. What? <gasps> blowhole, blow blowhole. Hole. You see the blowhole, yeah, right? Yeah, I see it. I see it. What? What? Oh, I didn't see you there. Oh, it's oh, it's morning. Well, I guess it's time for some more adventures. Let's get her done. Good morning, folks. We are just about to head out and uh, do a couple of things this morning, but I thought I'd show you around the little inn that we're staying in. It's called the High Focus Inn, and it is just super nice. Welcome to this exclusive behind the scenes look at us getting ready for a hike. <laughs> this is the stuff we don't want you to see. <laughs> this is our suite here. And he said that we're on a little bit of an island. Well, obviously the whole thing is an island, but this is just a little area of the island where they experience really high, high tides. So he said this area empties and fills up several times a day. What's up everyone? We are doing the Wild Pacific Trail Lighthouse Loop Edition. Hope to see some uh, wildlife, perhaps, and some stunning views. Carnivorous plants. Oh yeah, see sundews. Any? This is just a little insight into the care for the students at ACS. The students learned about sundews, which lure ants and mosquitoes and flies with glistening drops of mucus that are sticky. Got to get some pics for the next science curriculum. What's up, guys? We're here at the lighthouse on the loop. Lighthouse was built in 1915. They had to. Sorry, I'm just listening for humpback whales. They had to come every eight hours to hand crank the turning mechanism. I want to do a whole thing on that. Welcome to the Ancient Cedar Trail. We're walking along the Ancient Cedar Trail, which connects to the Wild Pacific Trail in Euclid. You can see here, these are the ancient cedars that the trail is named after, and they are just simply phenomenal. Let's keep going. So here we are at one of the ancient cedars. You can see that there seems to be a burrowing hole inside one of these trees. Ah! A native creature! Show us your dwelling. Blowhole, yeah, blowhole, you see the blowhole, yeah, right? I see it, I see it. Oh, there he is. All right, folks, Ruben has spotted a whale. Oh, I see him, I see him. Oh, 
Is that a huge... You just broke the surface. I'm pointing the camera out there, but you won't be able to see anything, but... <gasps> I bet that boat is a whale watching boat that's going up to it. <gasps> there's a blowhole right there. Right there, there's another one. I think there's two whales. Did you see the yeah. approximate location? Yeah. Okay, oh, there's, there. oh, it's no, surfacing, it's surfacing. Oh, there's his tail. <gasps> oh my, oh, there's another tail. Oh my goodness. There's another tail. <gasps> right by the boats. Oh, look at that tail. Oh, look at that flash. Wow. You guys, this is incredible. We just were gonna sit here on this bench and have a little bite to eat. And we're seeing whales. Props to dad for giving us these binoculars. It's amazing. They pop up every five minutes or so. So maybe now we'll have to wait another five minutes and then maybe they'll be a little bit farther out that way. We just saw a bald eagle fly right like between these trees like I saw. You can see him, you can see him. Where? Oh yeah, I see him. He's right there. I don't know if you can see. He, he has no idea we're spying on him. We're on our last hike probably of the day to Half Moon Beach. I think that wraps up the Tofino and Ukulele experience. We're sad to leave. It's been really awesome. Did not disappoint in any way. See you later.